E. Becquerel establishes that some substances shed mysterious rays. His friend Marie Curie and her husband Pierre confirm the finding. The trio is awarded the Nobel Prize for Physics. They prove that atoms emit tiny bits of matter as electrically charged particles. The electron, with a negative charge and far less mass than an atom, is discovered by the British physicist Joseph John Thomson in 1897. He wins the Nobel Prize for Physics. Thomson's atom is like a plum pudding. Pieces of negative charge, his electrons, within a diffuse positive charge, the pudding. This man is skeptical of Thomson's model. Ernest Rutherford is a New Zealander working in Britain and one of the great scientific minds of the day. Rutherford has a new notion. It wins him the Nobel Prize for Chemistry. His idea comes to light in a brilliant experiment. Rutherford discovers that when he fires a beam of particles at gold foil, most pass through, but a few bounce back, like bullets off tissue paper. He reasons something is rebounding those particles, a small, dense, central mass, a nucleus, something absent from Thomson's pudding through which all particles would pass.